Hello travelers, I'm Timothy French and we're in White Lake, North Carolina to continue on our quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started right here on this Golston Pier overlooking the lake. It's a beautiful lake. You can see all the way around it. It's called White Lake because it's uh, clear. I don't know if you can see it out here where it's deeper, but if you go into the shore, we'll show, it, show you that in a minute. It's fed by a subterranean spring that keeps it kind of clear. It's got a white sandy bottom and that's why they call it White Lake. You can see they got this pier here, and this is a public area you can come out to, but for the rest of the lake, you generally have to rent a place in an RV park or one of these cabins along the side of our house and all. You can see all the way around, they're densely packed, and if you drive around, you can't really see the lake on the road. You, they just Every community's just got a dead-end road coming down into it, and some of them have fences and things like that. Off on the further end there, you can see some trees over there. So for some animals around, I guess they can squeeze in through there and get them a drink, drink of water from this beautiful lake. Yeah, this is my second time to White Lake. First time I came was in the mid 60s with my family. We came down here and rented a house. A lot less people then, a lot less crowded, of course. And I can remember walking up, all I remember about it is walking up and seeing the, in the water where there was a boat ramp and how you could walk out through there and see your feet down through the water. It was so clear and all. And my brother met a, another family down there from a boy his age. He was older than me. And they went out, had a boat, and he went out skiing, and he learned how to ski down here and all. He loved it. He loved it so much that later on, a year or so later, he got in trouble, trouble for something. Decided he was going to run away like Opie on, <laughs> on the Andy Griffith show when he was going to run away that time. And <laughs> he, he was going to run away and come back down here to White Lake. He loved it so much. But uh, my dad called up with him, talked him into coming back home. But anyway, let's walk on to the end of this pier and check the rest of this town out. So as you can see, it's called Gold, Goldston's Pier. And they're getting ready to open their season up here pretty soon, I'm sure. Like I say, it's March right now right now you got this beautiful beach you can hang out on got some boards over there to rent and all it looks i think that's the owner over there now telling a worker some things he wants to get done we got the weight shop there and the arcade over here that'll be open soon i'm sure some music over there so i'm gonna come over to this side Come over to this side and keep talking maybe we can get around it but i got the goldston sandwich shop right here and all kinds of things, all the music on both sides. So, let me keep talking, let's get out a little further. <laughs> I can't get away from it. <laughs> oh, nobody's here, but they got that music playing. But I'm sure it's a fun place to be in. Uh, I imagine it gets really crowded. Got a Dairy Queen, Titan Pizza, and Naughty Chili right there. And a lot of cool stuff in there. As you can see, beautiful little look out through there sandwich shop like we said and got a little putt putt place right here too there's your bathhouse over there there's old red there's a water tower out in the distance and they got some rooms you can rent right here i guess so this little area right in here if you hadn't rented a house would be the only public place you can come down to i believe if you live here correct me on that if you want to and let us know they're doing some construction over here as well. Got old Marigou carousel right here. I think they're going to try to get going here. Need some work right now though. But you come in right there and uh, it's not $10 a day, but I guarantee you during the summer it's $10 park. I saw the sign in that little booth. But let's get on Rev. Get in Rev. We're going to have to do a little drive through this one to show you the rest of the town. All right, Rev. Let's take these folks on a ride around town here. Let them see the rest of the town. Yeah, White Lake, North Carolina. Population of about 800 or so. Between 8 and 900, I believe. Back in the day when I came, it was probably about 200 or something. This is their parking lot. And it's not. There's no charge to park now, but I saw a sign when I pulled in that said $10 parking. So during the season, I imagine you got to pay $10 to park in here. Visit the restaurants, arcade, putt putt, and bar and pier and all that. Looks like there's some parking on the other side too. Got Grand Regal Leasing Office over there, Golfton Lake Store, 
of hardware and looks like maybe a donut shop and some fun cars down that way and then mostly houses as you roll around town there we're going to take a right and go toward the town hall let you see that yeah about may this place will start getting cranked up as the weather warms spring is at the end of this month on the 22nd around about that around about that so there's the grand regal you can see there's those roads i was talking about can't really see the lake once you start driving around it's mostly uh mobile homes houses rv some cabins and things like that there's 89 dollars if you want to stay at carolyn's court there shoreliner got a little hotel here some cabins like i said Here's the town hall. Well, it's the police department. I imagine it's the town hall, too. Let's see. Let's see. White Lake the Police Department and the Fire Department there. Yeah. Got a nice building for the fire department. Town hall's right there. And there's that resort there. Some mobile home resort. <laughs> Got a nice town hall there that building is Could be Christian something or another at the lake church here you can kind of see the lake out through there in some spots speed limit is 20 there's an old style hotel there I guess it's still open male weed court got a pizza place here on the left Trying to go slow so you can see down through there. There's a Clearwater. Camp Clearwater is a big campground there, and I think it's real popular. I saw some videos on that, and there's a little church. So they got a good spot. Maybe that's a place you want to check out. There's a Ski Burgers. Ski Burger. And a Mini Golf. And Inside Ice Cream. Scoop Place. <laughs> Get my words all twisted there. In front of the old dinosaur and the whale. And you can see right here how they got these fences all up. That's about like the whole area as you drive around. This is a, uh, looks like RVs mostly in here. If I ain't mistaken. If I ain't mistaken. Ooh, look, can't really see them down low. There's some high, modular houses in there it looks like. So it's both, I guess. But this part, these, this one right here is not on the water, but I can see, yeah, I see some RVs and they built on little covers and stuff on them like they'll do sometimes. I don't know if y'all can see. Well, let's ride out here to the main road. This is, uh, I can't remember the name. We'll see when we get up here. White, White Water Lake Drive, maybe. Let's see when we get to the stop sign. Yeah, this uh, whole town is basically a resort community. And I forgot to tell you earlier, but in the 70s, skiing became real big here and, they, and the local ski clubs and all started putting on shows on their own. And they, they became real popular doing, you know, people standing on top of each other and the jumps and this and that. And a lot of those people that started that, you know, skied around the world and uh, competitions, I guess, and working for amusement uh, parks and things like that that did that. Uh, those types of shows and it was a real big time for this area and uh, let me pull over right here just a minute car up on home it's pretty tight but it was a real big time for this area and there's a documentary on it but i couldn't i looked for it last night i was gonna watch it again i couldn't find it but if i find it i'll put it in this video below it's tell about the history and i bet it was a cool time back in the 70s 70s and uh they also had uh hang gliders they pull the hang gliders up with the boat and they hang around the lake and all the people around the lake get to watch them and stuff like that and so those shows were real big during that time i don't know if they still do those shows or not if they do y'all y'all let us know and i think that's what that festival in may is all about celebrating that in this area that's pretty cool check that out come down here and visit it for yourself if you want a nice little relaxing vacation around a beautiful lake and safe and all for kids. A big place to come. And if it's not too far from the beach. I think probably uh, Southport is probably about 
80 miles from here maybe. A couple walking hand to hand there, that's good. I was gonna take you out here to the end and see they were building a water park out here because I guess the lake wasn't enough <laughs> for the kids. So out here at the end they're building a new water park. Let's see if we can see that. But off to the right you can see the more homes in this section here. So you can't see the lake as you drive around. You might peek down one of them roads to see it. I don't know. <laughs> Where was that one? I don't think it's right up here. Somebody clearing off something. There's Nathan's Court right here. You can see the houses and all. Down through there. All right, let's see. Let's see. I want to kind of see that real quick. This takes too long. Tell you what, we'll just we'll cut this section out here and jump ahead. So here it is coming up on the left, and they got this golf cart road on the right. Looks like they're building around the community for people to ride golf carts up here. But they're gonna, there's going to be some parking right there, and water parks right there on the left. I don't know if I can pull over or not. Let me look for a place real quick. here real quick. I need to stop anyway. So they're going to have some golf carts over here. Looks like that might have already been here. And then they're going to do the water park over there. So if your kids are not satisfied with skiing behind a boat or swimming in a beautiful lake, they can come here and pay some money, some of your money, and you can let them slide down some water slides. <laughs> I'm going to end it right here. White Lake, North Carolina. Hope you enjoyed this walking, talking drive of the town center and its uh, business, businesses and homes that go around the lake. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care.